Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, Super Bowl 55. It's Super Bowl Sunday. The Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I waited until after the game to record this because I didn't know the outcome of the game. I mean, I'm not a psychic, right? So I kind of just figured, hey, what the heck? Here, here, here is what I decided. Um, Tom Brady is the GOAT. Yes, yes, the greatest of all time. He is that nigga. I mean, come on. Like, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, when it comes to the Chiefs, the best thing they had was the kicker. And he was kicking consecutive 50-yard uh, field goals. Like, they were barely pushing past the 50 to get to the point where they needed to get in field goal range or to the goal line or whatever. Like, the Buccaneers, oh yeah, they had the driving force on offense, but they had the D. Like, when it came down to it, they were getting, what, multiple interceptions. I remember one play where dude uh, got a uh, penalty after he intercepted the ball of unsportsmanlike conduct. I would talk shit, too, if I intercepted the ball on you twice. Like, come on. Like, you had to have seen that coming. You had to know that you're a freaking bum. <laughs> like, come on. You bum. You bum ass nigga. Come on. Like, understand that when you see all of this greatness coming through, you might want to get out of the way because I'm going to make it happen every time. And that's just the way that it is. Like, there were so many great plays on the Buccaneers side. So many great executions when it came to the quarterback, Tom Brady, um, that you were like, what else did they need to do? And then the, okay. I had to take a drink on that one. I really did. Whew. Now listen here. <clears throat> Let me tell you this. I mean, Kansas City, what's the guy got going on with their line? They were getting back there every time. They were never giving the quarterback a moment to throw the ball. He was always zigging and zagging and running from the defense. He did not know how to fake. He didn't know how to take. And he did, all he would do is try to sneak. Like, come on. you got to get blasted for that. Like, what are you thinking? He would have to run away from the line and run forward and throw the ball. And I mean, if he hits you in the helmet, aren't you supposed to catch it? That's all I'm saying. If this man hits you in your helmet, if he hits you in your hands, you're supposed to catch that ball. Okay, I can understand the times where he may have overlaid or whatever, but come on, Kansas. This was an epic fail on your part. I mean, yeah, well, like I said, great offense, great defense. Hey, great team. And you can see why they made it this far and won the Super Bowl. I mean, and it starts with Tom Brady. It's real sitting around Tom Brady. I mean, to go from the Patriots to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um... It, it means a lot. <laughs> and then to go and win, like, you can form, you can create, you can mold a team. You could do whatever you need to do at the end of the day. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. You can make it happen. You can be the superstar, the greatest of all time. You could be the GOAT. But 
tonight it was a massacre 31 to 9 come on all right did y'all get out there and just lay down some people say that that um you know Kansas gave it to him, or of course Ray Ray, that um, Tom Brady was gonna win. Of course, you know, of course these things were gonna happen. Like that, like who was gonna bet against Tom Brady at a Super Bowl? He is clutch. There's not. Okay, check this out. I've watched Tom Brady play in so many Super Bowls. <laughs> like, oh man, but I've seen him win them too. You know, I've only seen. Let's see. Um. There was the one with the Patriots and Giants. Saw him lose that. And there was the one with the Patriots and Philadelphia Eagles a few years ago. Saw him lose that. Now, I don't like, okay. And let's say that he has like, what, seven championships or whatever. That's it. <laughs> Those are the ones that he lost. I'm David. You know what I'm saying? That I can't remember all the Super Bowls. But I just named two tonight, bro. Off the top of my head, go back and look it up. You know, I always recommend you do your Super Bowl, your uh, your due diligence, and do your research. But from you know, I, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, um, I know all. I get things wrong. That's why I say, go look it up. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. That's all I'll say. But those are the two Super Bowls I remember watching, and I see remember seeing him lose. But I remember all the ones he's won, too. All of them. Like, come on. He's the guy that comes in after a quarterback's been out for a few games and takes his spot. He's that guy. He's that guy that he's on one team, second stream, and next thing you know, He's on another team full stream the next year. He's traded off. He's wanted. He's sought after. He's that guy. He's that guy that when you speak of leadership, you know you got the right guy when you're talking about Tom Brady. There's some other quarterbacks out there, like I say, that are great and who have won championships. All the Manning, you know, Reeves and uh, Troy Egan and uh, uh, um, Steve Young, Joe Montana, uh, Ben Brockford, like Big Ben, like these, these are you know, like just think about it. Now in this day and age, the ultimate goal is to be like um, to go undefeated, like the Dolphins did. They're the only team in history who's ever done that. So you know. But the Patriots, they were, there was a Tom Brady, a team that Tom Brady did have that they went undefeated until, like, they got to the Super Bowl. That was back in, like, back in, like, 2008, I think, whichever Super Bowl that was. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they uh, only lost, like, one game, and I think it was the Super Bowl itself. Or something. I don't know. They had a, 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 like an awesome record. They only lost like one game that whole season. And that was uh, the Patriots. And you know who was leading that team? Tom fucking Brady. I'm telling you. Like, think about it. It's, 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 he's got so many of these Vince Lombardi trophies, you know, that it's like, Come on, he got so many championship rings that, come on, he started to fill up two hands. And then, if you go across, uh, across with other sports, because they start heard people bringing up uh, LeBron and, and Jordan and, you know, them and their, you know, home turf and, and crossover, apples and oranges, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, hey... To me, the greatest fruit ever is watermelon. So, <laughs> if you talk, you want to talk apples and oranges, I want to talk watermelon. I mean, it's like the best fruit ever. And it's like one of the biggest fruits. So, uh, when you're talking, get there talking apples and oranges, 
get me my fucking watermelon. You know what I'm saying? Tom fucking Brady. MVP. Greatest quarterback. So, legendary. I was watching uh, some of the plays, some of the uh, play action is what we call it. You know, you're playing Madden, you're doing all these fakes, and then you're doing all these takes, you know. Um, I, okay, I can respect a quarterback that has to quarterback sneak it, but I can't respect a quarterback that wants to quarterback sneak it. I, I hired you to be the gun, the big gun of the game. I hired you to throw that motherfucker uh, 40, 50 yards down the field into the end zone. Touchdown! Boom! I'm hitting you to connect with these wide receivers or whatever. And that's the thing. Uh, Tom Brady gets out there and he takes command of the field and he's going to connect with whoever. He's going to be like, hey, I'm going to come at you. Boom! Connection made. Ugh. Uh, uh, dodge a few tackles. You in there, like, and then the line. I have to give it up for the offensive line for what they were doing as far as because you can't never like the you, you. That's like a very important thing that people don't think about. The offensive line. They were opening that bad boy up so that uh, the running back can go uh, first down, first down, first down. Like, and these are, you know, up the middle plays. You don't be expected to make first down uh, up the middle plays. Uh, That can mean one of two things. Either the offense is really good or the defense sucked. And right now, based off of the score and based off of uh, all the stuff that's going on, I don't know. That's why they didn't win the championship because they say defense wins championships. And it seemed like Kansas City was just laying down and taking it. Now, the other thing I can say is, you know, Super Bowl 55. I'm hoping that everybody else was tuned in. Now, that halftime, worst halftime ever. Um, horrible, horrible halftime. They're getting worse every year, it seems like. Um, hey, if you want a good halftime show, put a drum line in it. That's all I'm saying. Like, <laughs> call out for previews, the box, and, 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 and maybe even some other drum lines. Get, get them united and let the drum lines decide. And <laughs> something about them when those stairs get the clacking and the doom, sixes get the hitting. And then the doom, 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 doom. when them basses get the thumping and them tenors get the doom, 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 doom. when they get the smacking. Ping, ping, pong. I'm telling you that. Something like that. Now, when you get in there and you get in that stadium and you hear the big band coming, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's something about a big live band, a marching band, and, a, and the drum line is when they that driving force of the band when they get to coming through and, and doing what they do, or whatever. That's hey, that's a, the highest effect that you can have. And then maybe some horns, the trombones, and trumpets, and, and all of that. Oh, yeah. You know. Now, if you're going to do a Super Bowl weekend, Super Bowl halftime show, and you don't have a list of hits, not songs that um, people like, and one of your main songs is tied into a movie, so when it does play, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about the movie. I'm thinking about Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm not thinking about you deserve it. <laughs> I'm thinking about what, what you know. I'm thinking about what's going to happen with uh old Christian Gray. <laughs> so sucky ass halftime. We could have went without. I don't know. It's tor- uh, terrible. Nothing about that halftime was any good. And I think y'all need to th- rethink next year's uh, halftime because they're starting to get horrible. I mean, I don't know. Like I told my homegirl, I'm only tuning in because Janet Jackson's titties might pop out. So, And she didn't know what I was talking about. And I was like, are you serious? 
It was like the most, the most famous wardrobe malfunction ever in history. So, but I don't know. She's only 24. So, well, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bring world peace. And all that I can be said. Uh, catch me on the YouTube video that I put out uh, tomorrow. And I thank you so much. Tom Brady, keep it up. You're the GOAT. I can't wait to see you bring your team back to the Super Bowl for Super Bowl 56. Already signing off. Go Tampa Bay. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this. And stay tuned for the next video.